So I just recorded this video without my sound on again. I need to stop recording so late at night because I just keep messing it up. But we're just gonna do it again because why not? I already took it out of the bag, sorry. But um, we are going to do an Ipsy unbagging today. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it is a $10 a month beauty subscription. You get makeup products, hair products, skin products, all sorts of beauty products, um, three to five, three to five travel size up to full size products. So, let's see. This is what the little bag looks like this month. It is, the theme is Beauty Rocks. It did come with a little pass. So if you're going to this year's Generation Beauty event, you do, there's a code for you to get your ticket for only $60 instead of 150. So that's really awesome if you are going. I wish I was going, hopefully next year, hopefully. So the first thing, we're just gonna go back in the order that I took them out originally, okay. <laughs> um, that I took out was this pair of, this pair of Kiss Lashes. They're super natural, look very lightweight. They look really pretty. It says they're light and soft as a feather. Um, I've only tried a couple pairs of Kiss Lashes and they were pretty nice. The band on these look really lightweight and are probably going to be invisible when you put them on. So that's really nice, especially for beginners or people who aren't that comfortable wearing false lashes. These are going to be great for you. I do personally prefer um, more dramatic lashes. These are in the style Shy, but they're really nice. So no complaints here. I'll always try any pair of lashes. Super pumped on these. Then, let's see, there's Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil. It's the 24-7 Velvet, the new kind of black matte one, which is really nice. Watch it right over here, if you can see it. It's just a perfect matte black. Um, I can never have too many of these Urban Decay 24-7 liners. They are my favorite and love them. So I'm really excited about this as well. And the next thing was Lolly Tint, which is something I have been wanting to try by Benefit. And this little tiny thing, and I had swatched it right there and give you a light pink one of the color. Really, really gorgeous. Definitely a really fun color, a nice change from the natural, the natural. A nice change from the original uh, Benetint, which is much more red. It's kind of a purpley pink. Love this. Can't wait to try it on my cheeks and on my lips. The next thing is a Kaylin product. We have gotten quite a few of these in Ipsy. Let's see, we have gotten an eyeliner. This is since I've subscribed for I don't know how many months now, probably six months. Um, Oh, let's see, a gel liner, a different tinted lip balm. The last one I got was red. It was super pigmented and this one was no exception. See that hot pink right there. Tinted lip balm. Crazy. It does seem like they didn't quite fill it up as high as they normally do, which I heard other people talking about, but for a tinted lip balm, that's gonna last forever. And the color is amazing. So definitely no complaints here, I'm really, Stoked to try that. And the last thing was a City Color White Gold kind of cream shadow. Let's see. Mousse eyeshadow. That's that's good. This little protector. I'm not sure if we're supposed to keep this in here or not. Let's see. Hopefully not because it's kind of annoying. But this is a really pretty white gold. Of course it's a white gold. It's white gold. The name definitely is a moussey formula. And it seems to dry to a powder consistency. You can see it right here, or on my finger. Really pretty color. I think it's gonna be really great for an inner corner highlight or even like a highlight on the cheekbone. Love it. Yeah, so just to recap really fast, we got the lashes, we got the Urban Decay liner, we got the Lolly Tint by Benefit sample, the Kaylin lip balm, and the color acid pink and the city color white gold shadow in my opinion this was a very successful month by ipsy my last one last month 
I was a little underwhelmed. I wasn't super stoked on it. I know a lot of people thought that it wasn't quite as good as the months before. And this one completely, completely like 180 amazingness. Like this is why I subscribed to Ipsy. This is probably my favorite bag, honestly, that I've ever gotten from Ipsy. And I've gotten quite a few really good ones. So that says a lot. Great job this month, Ipsy, on the April Ipsy. I did fiddle with my settings a little bit um, when I started getting a couple bags with some colors that weren't really me. And this is the first one since I switched all of them. And honestly, I love all of the colors. These are so much more me. Very excited. So if you don't really like the colors that you're getting in your Ipsy bags, definitely play with your settings and see if you can switch it around and maybe you'll get something more exciting and just play with it and see what happens. Cause why not for $10 a month? Such a good deal. And I know like this alone, it's like 20 bucks. So. Did you guys get Ipsy this month? If so, what did you get? And what was your favorite thing? And if you don't get Ipsy, do you get another beauty subscription? Which one is your favorite? Which one would you like to try? I would love to know. Please comment down below and thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. Which one is your guys' favorite of out of all the benefits? Uh, Benetints, there's lolly tint and I can't even think of all of them right now. <laughs> Comment down below with whatever. I wanna know everything. Tell me about yourself, what your name is, how you spell it. <laughs> it's got it all over me. <laughs>